Hello everyone, my name is Daniela Curto. I am a freshman at FAU. My major is marketing and for my two formal elements of art, I chose color and surface. So this piece is considered one of the most famous of Picasso's blue period. This is a term used to describe the pieces he made from 1901 to 1904. It could have been due to his emotions at the time, having his themes be solemn and dark as he was going through a deep depression. It uses shades of blue to further highlight the somber tone of the piece. This piece reminds me of a time where I too was sad, and looking back at those days, they feel like they have a blue tint to them. For surface, this piece is painted on oil canvas. There's brushwork around it that is visible around the piece, which I think gives it more personality. All colors are blended, with them being different shades of blue, as I mentioned earlier. This piece having blue hue to it reminds me of one of my favorite movies, which is Twilight, which also has a blue tint to it. My name is Kylie Krapp, and I'm currently a freshman here at FAU, and I will be majoring in health science. For our final project, I chose form as my formal element, and form is how the piece is created within the presentation of figures, which include shape, dimensions, or width and height. In this piece of Picasso's work, we can clearly see the use of three-dimensional form within the male's face, and it's presented by a shadowing to the right of his face. So, this side of his face, as you see here, can be presented with the detailing of the darkness and all of that. And then unlike the woman across from him, her face is presented to a two-dimensional view. So this whole side of her face and all our details cut off from us. And so that is how they are distinguished differently in dimensions. Now, the reason I chose form is mainly because of dimensions. One reason I became interested in art was by learning how to draw three-dimensional shapes. So, you know, your cubes, your pyramids, your cylinder prisms, if that's right. And uh, I always thought I was so cool because I was the only kid at the time who knew how to draw these cool or hard shapes on paper. So that's how I became interested in art. Hello, my name is Jessica Swant. I'm a sophomore studying electrical engineering, and I'll be discussing costs of line work in Levy and how it relates to the painting. Now, line work usually consists of distinct straight or curved lines placed against the background without gradations in shade or hue to represent two dimensional or three dimensional objects. In Levy, Picasso uses a combination of both curved and straight lines, with the curved lines being used to create the outlines for both the humans in the painting and the humans created in the paints within the painting and the ripples and folds in the clothing and a straight line is being used to create the outlines for the other objects portrayed, such as the canvases and the wallboards. Using the lines in this way helps add a sense of realism to the painting as it adds to the depth of the clothing and mimics the flexibility of human skin that just straight lines could not portray. The painting being created to memorialize Picasso's late friend Carlos Cousin of his life, according to PablaCasso.org, and what he sought after during his time in Paris is something that I can relate to as I always found myself fantasizing about what my ideal life would be and doing whatever necessary to achieve the life I envision for myself. Hi, my name is India Castleberry. I'm a freshman at FAU and I major in international business. Personally, I wanted to do this painting because I felt that there was a lot of ways that you could interpret it and I felt it'd be really interesting to see how it related to other people in their lives. Aside from that, the element that I chose was space. Truthfully, I had a hard time figuring out how space related to this painting, but from what I've researched, because the characters are so big and they take up most of the canvas space, it causes it to be a closed space painting. For this reason, there is not much negative space and the majority of the painting is positive space. The only three-dimensional figures in the painting are the man, the two women, and the baby. And there is also some overlapping on the man and the woman, as well as the woman and the baby. When I first looked at the piece, my initial thought of what was going on was this man was cheating and his wife came and caught him. Unfortunately, this scenario hits close to home and is how it relates to my life personally. When I was younger, my father did use to cheat on my mother a lot while she was at home taking care of us. Other than that, I couldn't think of any other connections to my personal life. Space in art refers to the artist's use of the area within the picture plane. Placement is very important in art because it can bring someone's attention away or towards a specific item. Picasso placed the two bodies on the left closely to make it obvious they are together, but gave space to the woman on the right who was not part of the relationship. Using techniques of perspective, Picasso also was able to create depth using the paintings placed in the back. I can connect to this artwork because Picasso was in his own world during his blue period. I also feel like I'm in my own world, surrounded by blue whenever I'm out swimming or fishing in the ocean. My name is Lucas Cornwall, and I'm a freshman at FAU studying biological sciences. Thank you, have a great day. My name is Cameron Chamberlain, and I'm a freshman at FAU studying business marketing. For this assignment, I chose the La Vie painting by Picasso, and the art element I did was composition. The composition of a piece of artwork includes things such as the formal structure, 
orientation, informal structure, centralization, and symmetry of the piece. The formal structure is arranged in a manner that expresses sorrow and darkness. One can see the agony because of all the four individuals in the artwork are centered. The people are less in depth than the rest of the painting. The symmetry of the piece is quite evident in the background. The painting being directly in the middle helps the viewer understand that the individuals on the left are independent from the woman and baby to the right. The informal structure is depicted by the minimalistic activity and energy in the painting. The painting that I chose of Picasso's resembles a hard time in their life. I too, like anyone else, have been faced with hard times at one point or another in my life as well.